Okay, today I'm going to be making my version of wax buddy burners. And for this, I'm going to need a pan. Now, you're not going to want to use a pan which you use for cooking because we're going to be heating some paraffin wax up. So it's best just to use an old pan that you don't use. You're going to need some tea light candles. You can get a bag of 100 for a pound or a couple of pounds. Serviettes. You can pick these up for free at cafes, restaurants, fast food takeaways, or if you have a canteen at work, you can usually pick up a couple each day, take them home. And of course, toilet roll tubes, which don't cost anything because you buy a toilet roll anyway. Now I'm going to take these metal cases off the candles now. And to do that, I'm just gonna stick a knife down the side, split it open like that, just peel around like that, take it off. And I like to take off the, uh, the metal disc off the bottom. The wicks are pretty much in there. You could probably get them out with some pliers, but it's okay, I'm just gonna leave them in and uh, put them all in the pan. Okay, I've put the heat on low, on a medium ring. I don't want to put a high heat on it, I don't want any risk of uh, any fires. So, while I carry on doing these, I'm just going to let that start to heat up the candles and melt the wax. Now you do want to be careful when peeling these because this stuff's quite sharp and you can cut your fingers on it so be careful. Okay the wax is melted now. I've turned the heat off there. The residual heat in the wax should melt in the last few bits. I don't want it to get too hot. Now I'm going to start stuffing the toilet roll tubes with serviettes. best to keep them quite loose rather than pack them tight so I usually screw them, open them up, screw them up into balls, pack them in. I like to just push them from each end like that every now and then. One done. Right, I'm going to carefully pick your pan up. And uh, under this tissue, I've got a, um, like an old baking tray underneath here because um, it can get quite messy. <laughs> you don't want to get wax all over your work surfaces. Right, you want to slowly, very slowly, drizzle the wax into these tubes. I poured it a bit quick at first and loads of it's just poured over the sides. But I'm going to get that wax back in this pan, heat it up a bit more and pour it back in again soon. So I'm just going to discard these uh, wicks. These wicks now. I'm just going to gently all this wax in there. Make sure it's really soaked up loads of wax. Then whatever's left in here, you can either pour it back in here while it's warm still, or any bits of wax that are set, you can scrape out, get back in the pan, melt it again. You're probably just gonna wanna leave them there. For, a, for an hour or two 
in a cool place until they're set. Okay, so I've left those for two hours and let's have a look. There you go. Just uh, leave that in there for next time. I can remail that. I like to use a hacksaw for this. You could probably try using a knife. Um, I've used a bread knife before to do this but the hacksaw is the best thing. Now, uh, I'm gonna actually cut this into six slices. So, I'm gonna cut it in half, then each half into three. And there you have it is our little burners. Now when you come to use the burner, all you need to do is uh, use your knife and just score the top, fluff it up a bit. Sometimes just turn the point of the knife in there a little bit. Like that. Use a lighter or a match. I actually haven't tried igniting it with a ferro rod and a knife. I might try this. There we go. <coughs> so that's the first time I've actually tried lighting it with this. And it works. 